former rugby league greats and members of the Pacific Island transgender community say it's time for the code to embrace diversity. Pastor Muffy Mata Arthur is a big fan of the Manly Sea Eagles, but he's critical of the way the club handled the rollout of its rainbow jersey. It seems to me that, that it was just an announcement, we're going to wear the jersey. And I think that's, that's very poor management. The Christian beliefs of these players are not just turning up to church on Sunday. This is them. A Pacific Islander preacher in Sydney's West, he says the seven Manly players should be commended for their courage in boycotting tomorrow night's game on religious grounds. They are basically saying, uh, standing up against their employer. There's a lot of risks in there. As Manly scrambles to pull a team together for the crucial match, there's been a backlash against the boycotting players, some labelling them homophobic and calling for them to be sacked. NRL great Frank Pulitua calling on the players to reconsider. I think it'd be great if the guys involved changed their minds and played and wore the jumper. But the co-secretary general of the International Lesbian and Gay Association, herself a Samoan trans woman, says this issue needs to be fixed. Sports codes, they need to do their part. They need to rise above any of these issues, sit down and fix this problem. They need to call in LGBTI, national LGBTI organizations. They need to involve leaders of the Pacific Island communities. If most of their players are Pacific Islanders, bring the leaders in. The NRL is considering introducing a pride round next year. We are very proud that we are a game for everybody. And that's that's why I'm in this game, is because I had a difficulty in being accepted as, as, a, as a migrant. And rugby league accepted me. It was inclusive back then and it's inclusive now. Manly fans hopeful they can get their hands on a rainbow jersey. I went online when I saw them. Um, they were sold out. Uh, but I've noticed they're now available for pre-order. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely be uh, purchasing the jersey, that's for sure. Felicity Davey, SBS, World News.